Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Be sure to watch to the end to see the bonus clip of the odd creature caught on the security cam. Last week, NOAA released a list of space weather highlights from Solar Cycle 25. Among many significant events, the most spectacular was an X1 class solar flare on October 28, 2021, blowing a mega bubble in the sun's atmosphere. NOAA's GO 16 satellite recorded the explosion. Here's what the bubble looked like. What happened next surprised space weather forecasters. The expanding bubble pushed a CME out of the sun's atmosphere. At the time, forecasters predicted it would hit Earth and trigger a strong geomagnetic storm. That's not what happened though. The CME passed mostly south of our planet, delivering only a glancing blow. NASA Cassini data reveals building block for life in Enceladus Ocean. Enceladus is the sixth largest moon of Saturn, 19th largest in the solar system. It is about 500 kilometers, 310 miles, in diameter, about a tenth of that of Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Enceladus is mostly covered by fresh, clean ice, making it one of the most reflective bodies of the solar system. Consequently, its surface temperature at noon only reaches minus 198 degrees Celsius, 75.1 K, minus 324.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Using data collected by NASA's Cassini mission, an international team of scientists has discovered phosphorus an essential chemical element for life locked inside salt-rich ice grains ejected into space from Enceladus. The small moon is known to possess a subsurface ocean, and water from that ocean erupts through cracks in Enceladus icy crust as geysers at its south pole, creating a plume. The plume then feeds Saturn's E-ring, a faint ring outside of the brighter main rings, with icy particles. During its mission at the gas giant from 2004 to 2017, Cassini flew through the plume and E-ring numerous times. Scientists found that Enceladus ice grains contain a rich array of minerals and organic compounds including the ingredients for amino acids associated with life as we know it. Solar Activity Report for Today NOAA forecasters say there is a 30% chance of M-class solar flares today. That may be an underestimate. Yesterday, three different sunspots, 33, 31, 37, 38, produced category M1 flares. The same three active regions appear capable of flaring again on June 17. Here they are seen through the SDO-131 filter. Up next, are the CME that have erupted from the sun, the last two days thus far. They have all been on either side of the sun, so none are earthbound. This morning, my front porch security camera sent me a notification. This is what is showed. To me it looks like something with horns, that ducks down when the blue record light comes on. Then if you look at the shadow on the wall, it seems to have a stick that it taps the camera lens with. Here it is slower, and just here there looks to be an eye, as it moves downward long horns are seen. This occurred after 4am this morning. What do you think it could be? Maybe a large bug on the lens. But how does that explain the shadow on the wall? Let me know in the comments what you think it is. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Yeah.